About a week and a half ago, the union rejected the contract changes the company wanted to make to the existing contract, but union members have another chance to vote. That'll be tomorrow and Friday. So what exactly will the union members be voting on starting tomorrow? Well, Fox 11's Becky DeVries has a closer look at the contract changes. It's titled 2009 Contract Change Summary, 62 pages outlining modifications to the contract between the union and Mercury Marine. Well, there's no question that if an employer were trying to save money in order to stay in a, in a more competitive marketplace, you'd look at precisely the things Mercury Marine is looking at. Ronald Pfeiffer has been practicing labor and employment law for 35 years and routinely negotiates with unions on behalf of companies. Fox 11 asked Pfeiffer to explain some of what's in these 62 pages union members will be voting on. Overtime eligibility, who will get it, how it'll be handed out, how it'll be paid, that's changed. Vacations, reduced. Holidays, changed. Pfeiffer all says the that, pay scale for new employees things. or laid off employees returning to work will also be changed. For example, a truck driver would currently be earning at least twenty ninety five an hour, but a new hire or a laid off worker recalled after a certain date would make at the most sixteen fifty for doing that job. So there's about a five dollar an hour difference. Out a spread out over two thousand eighty hours in a year, that's a fairly significant amount of money. And adds up to more than ten thousand dollars a year. And there are other changes union employees will be considering. I think Mercury Marine has dug its heels in and tried to either reduce the amount it's paying, and that would be, for instance, in the employees are going to pay more for their group health insurance. Their pension apparently is going to be frozen. So those are losses for employees, and the exchange for that is the continued jobs that will remain in Fond du Lac. And union members will decide if keeping a job but with fewer benefits is worth it. I suspect every Mercury Marine employee has to make that judgment for him or herself. And it's probably a matter of opinion as to whether it's fair or unfair. Changes outlined in 62 pages the union will accept or reject in a move that will impact the company, the union, and the community. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Pfeiffer says the average union contract is one to three years. This one is supposed to be for seven years, although the company moves come during the four-year agreement reached just last year. Now, after tomorrow's voting, the ballots will be taken by police escort to the police department, and union officials say the counting will begin right after the polls close on Friday evening at 6, with the results expected later that evening.